Hi, I'm Neelima and I'm going to show you the personal banking application we have developed on Microsoft Surface. So this is a basic personal banking application with all the features but with a more richer and easy to user experience. So let's have a look of how does it actually work. So all you see here is a Microsoft Surface and this is the initial screen the customer sees. National Bank of Scotland is the fictitious bank we have created for the demo purpose now. The customer has to touch anywhere on the screen. He would be provided with two options to log in. He can either use his card or just touch the login button to for the standard way of logging in by providing the username and password details. So once the customer places his card, he would see then provision to enter the PIN number. He can enter the PIN number and click on validate button to log in or I will also show you how to enter it in the standard way. Just touch the login button and here we have to provide the user ID and password details. Here in this case let's take Nancy as the fictitious customer. So I'm going to enter user ID as Nancy and Nancy's password and touch the enter button to log in. Yes. So this is the main screen that is shown after the customer successfully logs in. Here what you are seeing is the three cards. So each of the cards representing each of the accounts Nancy is holding. So in this case, you see current account, credit card, and savings account. And here, you see your information box providing the brief information of all the accounts Nancy is holding. She can scale it, make it big, make it small, as per her comfort level. Now when Nancy touches any of her account, say current account, she would pretty much see her current account details here. The current account, she wants to see the credit account details, credit account, credit balance, the savings account. And now coming to the task, these are all the tasks we have provided like make payment, view transactions, transfer between accounts, update details and ideas and offers. Now to perform any of these tasks, all that Nancy has to do is say now let Nancy wants to make a payment from her current account. All that she has to do is just touch the current account and drag it and drop it over the make payment. Yeah. So what you are seeing here the list of pays in Nancy's account. She can just scroll it and here are the two buttons to add. If she wants to add some more pays, she can just touch the add pay button and she can use the back button to go back to the main page. Now let's say Nancy wants to make a payment to Andrew, one of her pays in her pay list. So select the pay and and she can either make a payment using the pay button or delete Andrew from the existing list by touching the delete button. So let's make a payment to Andrew. Touch the pay button. So here is the default selection as Nancy has selected the current account. You would see the current account details here and just add the reference something like hostel. and the amount to be paid and then she can touch she can just touch the confirm button to make the payment now let's go back to the main page by touching the back button so here the green line kind of here indicates the association between the current operating account 
and the current operation. Say, the last action Nancy has performed is that she had made a payment using her current account. So, now you see a green line going between the make payment and current account to make her understand the current operation she is doing. Now, let's see the view transactions. Again, uh, say Nancy wants to see all the latest transactions she has made using her current account. So all that she has to do is just take it and drag it and drop it over view transactions. See, these are all the list of transactions she had made in month of May. She can just scroll it like this. She wants to see the transactions she made in April. Just touch the April button here. These are the transactions she made in April. Here is the button. If she wants to print the list of transactions she's seeing here, she can just touch the print button or touch the back button to go back to the main page. Now transfer between accounts. Let's say Nancy wants to make a transfer or let's say Nancy wants to pay her credit card bill using her current account. So take the current account, drag it and drop it over transfer between accounts. So these are your current account details and these are the other two cards Nancy is having. So she can either select savings account or if she wants to pay the credit card bill, select the credit card. So here you would see the current amounts in all the accounts. So now here I am selecting the credit account. Just enter the amount. And she can pay it immediately or make it at a later date. So just touch the OK button or to make a payment or just touch the back button to go back to the main page or even more simpler to make a credit card payment from the current account just take the current account and simply drag it and drop it over credit account enter the amount and you are done the other option is update details so just take the card and drag it and drop it over update details here you see, say let Nancy wants to change the personal details. These are all the personal details she can update. Or if she wants to update her address or telephone details, just click on the confirm button to just touch the confirm button to update the details uh, to go back to the main page. Again, back button. And coming to the ideas and offers, say Nancy wants to see all the offers that are available only on her savings account. So take the savings account, put it on ideas and offers. So these are all the offers that are available on her savings account. She can scale them. So it is a text format and also you have a video format here. So she can play it, pause it as per her requirement. Or can concentrate on some of them but putting up all of this aside and just scaling this and just touch the back button to go back to the main page so there is also a help button that shows you uh, how to use the system and just touch the login button you're done with the uh, transactions and you want to log out 